talk about carrying on for days. It's, it's just a passion of mine and there's so many different expressions of it around the world. I guess what's relevant to me is that I discovered it in about 06, tasting wine with a friend, with a, a bunch of friends. We were at a, like a conference and there were some Carignans from Spain, from Priorat. And I elbowed the guy next to me and said, hey, if, if I could get some Carignan, I would start my own label. So I was working for another winery at the time. So uh, one thing led to another and pretty soon my friend that I was sitting next to there, you know, found some Carignan for me. I guess he sort of called my bluff because um, he was like, now you got to start your own brand. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, oh, I don't know yet. I don't know. But I went up to this vineyard up in Mendocino County and I fell in love with it. It was these old gnarly vines. They were, um, they were head trained, but they were really tall, like as big around and as tall as I am. And it was almost time for harvest and the fruit was sort of hanging on the vines and I just thought, okay, yes, I want this, I want to do this. So I did and um, I've been making carry-on ever since. That was 2008 and uh, that was my first vintage as a ranchero sellers. Um, the, the first vintage of the Galaxy Rosé, Rosé of Carignan, was 2012. So all these years I'd been bleeding off a little bit of juice to concentrate the fruit and I was just putting it in the drain. So I, in 2012, I finally said, well, I have enough fruit here, I should save it and try to make a rosé. And of course, what ensued was absolutely perfect. Um, Carignan, it turns out, makes a great rosé because it's got such great native acidity. Um, it is, uh, it is just, it's got these savory qualities, so it's not just all strawberry fruit. It's a really fun wine. It's got a lot of melon. I like to say heirloom melon, even though I'm not sure what that means. Okay. <laughs> and <laughs> aromas of heirloom melon, uh, citrus blossom. There's a little citrus zest in there. There's some grapefruit and, and tangerine. It's just it's just fun. It's full of fun flavors, and it it's really friendly with food. Um, some rosés you just want it a hot day to drink it by the pool, and this works for that, believe me. But it also pairs with just a plethora of really fun foods, and uh, I've had I've had fun exploring.